I want to do a quick correction to the aim problem where we cut out a wedge of a log. In that problem, so we had a wedge. So just to remind ourselves, we had a log that looked like that. We made one cut that was right along, that was perpendicular to the axis of the log. And we made another cut that has a, had a 45 degree angle. So it was like that. And the solution to the problem, we had to figure out the volume of the wedge. And the big trick there was, so if I drew the wedge like this, so let me take a side view of the wedge. So this is a side of the wedge right over here. I could shade it to show that it has it's kind of round. So if I were to shade it, you can kind of see that it is round. So this is a side view of the wedge. We knew that this right here is a 45 degree angle. And the way that we solved the problem, or the kind of trick, was to say, hey, if we had another wedge like this, and we just stacked it on top of this one, if we just flipped it over and made it like this, that we also have a 45 degree angle over here, and then it would make a cylinder. And it's very easy. It's very easy to figure out the height of a cylinder. And I misspoke, and I said it was lucky that we had a 45 degree angle because in the last video I was actually visualizing it incorrectly. I said, oh, because if you had anything less than a 45 degree angle, this wouldn't have worked out properly. But I was wrong. It would work out properly. Let me show you. So if this, let's say, whatever, whatever angle. Whatever angle you have here. So this is going to be 90 degrees over here. Whatever angle you have over here. So let's call that theta. This over here, they have to add up to 180. So theta plus 90 plus this has to be 180. Or theta plus this has to be 90. Or this could be, you could just call this 90 minus theta. Now, when you, if I were to take the same thing, if I took another kind of wedge like this and flipped it over, over this thing, it's not this angle that's going to be right here. It's this angle. So let me just draw it right over here. So it would look like this. It would look like this. Where this now is theta. This end right here is actually that end on the flipped version. And now this angle right over here is now 90 minus theta. So clearly, you have 90 minus theta plus theta. So this thing is going to be a right angle no matter what this no matter what, obviously it has to be a reasonable angle, but no matter, assuming that it's less than 90 degrees, it would have worked out. You could have done the same trick. Anyway, hopefully that clarifies it, and I apologize for the incorrect visualization uh, in the last video.